Welcome to Python MDAS Calculator. If I enter the number here, I can click on maybe add day. You get the total. Let's say we select subtract multiplication division modulus exponential and floor division day. I can also reset and exit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you straight into development environment and we put one of these together. So let's start by clicking on new new project. Okay I'm going to start by importing the following from taking to let's import all of the components that we need and I will also import Tikinta dot message box there. I will then create a class. Okay, let's come down here and create a class and this class I'm gonna name it let's say mdas underscore for beginners beginners and enter a column then I will then define my own function and there say underscore underscore initialize underscore self dot that should be comma self dot root so that is going to be the name of my of my function so I'm going to get rid of this the root is the name of the function there and let's come down here and just say self dot root equals whatever the name I want I'm going to call it root and I'm also going to give it a title self dot title root dot title there we go and the root I'm just going to call it M B A S calculator calculator there yeah, that's the name let's say self dot root dot geometry and my geometry I'm going to go for let's say 1000 for the width times 400 plus that's the height is 400 and the coordinate is going to be 0 by 0 let's say let's just make it 120 by 120 and we'll see how that looks like if we don't like it we just change it close that up there now the next thing we want to do is to I'm going to create a frame I call the frame this is how you create your frame widget frame 1 equals the main frame so and that is the widget if you notice the widget is of upper the F is of uppercase and I'm going to say self dot root comma let's get it parted on the x axis by 20 and I'm also going to add a border equals let's make that about 16 and the width I want to make the width about 600 comma and the height let's go for approximately 300 by okay let's say relief equals I like it to be rigid there close that and this first frame of mine I'm now going to say frame one dot get I say get grid and it's going to be inside rule equals zero the column equals zero as well there now I can just copy all of these to create my other frames so the next frame underneath I'm gonna call that frame zero one I'm 
one frame zero one is going to be one and then the other frame let's call that frame two and frame three so let's change this to two and this is going to be frame three there now what is left for us to do is to change this row to one and there we go but just before I continue I'm just gonna round it up there okay I can now go to file and save it let's see let's get the name here and just save it as MDS beginner save as and let's look for my desktop desktop and where is my there we go paste it right there just give that give it a name that's the name let's run it and see run there that is how it looks like but i will want this one down a little bit more okay guys so let's continue close up now the next thing we want to do is let's come in here and right underneath here i'm going to declare the following variables right those are the variables i intend to use but these two variables here i'm going to set them set the value to equals nothing so let's say dot set equals you know, and repeat the same thing for the other one because i don't want anything in those two right now the next thing we want to do is to create the following widgets so i'm going to say self dot lbl first number now i'm going to use okay let's just call that equals label frame two okay and frame two itself is going to have a text the text value is going to be enter first number right close that comma and the font let's change the font okay set the font to about I'm gonna go for area area wrong spelling area comma Let's go for 4, 14 and make that bold. There we go. Close that. And let's add BG equals 12. Now let's close this up or run it up. Come right down here. Solve dot grid equals row zero 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 column zero all right copy that paste that in here there and that is my very first one so i'm just going to copy this just before that let's say strictly equals west okay if i decide to run that this is what you guys will see there we go you see that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that and just write so that you guys can see the second one and I'll change it all around. Come down here, paste, and I'm going to need another one for my answer. And the answer is going to be on row 2. This will be on row 1. And there will be text boxes in between so let's run this and see how it's going to look like now cancel that let's change this one to enter second number enter second number and this one is going to be answer or result or whatever we want to call it or show results right okay we would still need to change the names though I'll be changing the name, names later on. So let's just run it and see. This is what we get. Only two of them are shown up. Let's see the other one. We have zero. Or oh, this one should be one. Now run it again. And there, guys. Right. 
that's looking looking fine so the next thing is just for us to change the name so this one is going to be second number second here and the other one is results okay now let's create text box i'm just going to speed that up okay that is for the very first one okay just copy those ones around but let's run it and you guys see what i'm talking about there so for the second one i've copied that come right down here paste and paste this one right here so all i need to do is change this one to two and this one will become one the same thing applies to this very one this one become one and that becomes one so let's run it and see there we go guys look at that so let's come back down here now what we want to do is we need to add just change the names okay i'm going to speed that up okay let's create let's create our radio buttons here right here so what i'm going to do is right underneath here let me create my very first radio button of course itself dot r1 r1 equals radio button that's the very first one so r1 is in is going to be inside frame one one and comma the text content on r1 let's say that was um shall we say addition yeah okay and just enter a comma there and just say variable variable in this case is the value comma and r1 r1 value is going to be equals to one okay now let's go for the font Font, copy all of this, paste it right there. Now, what is? It's a comma. Let's get it padded. Padded equals, you know, let's say y equals 6. And x axis padded equals maybe about 5. 5. And say griddled dot. That would be zero. Okay. That's a rule zero. Yeah. It's gonna be inside column one anyway, so rule zero. Yeah. There we go. And one more thing. Let's get it to strictly west. Okay, I'm going to try it out, but before I try it out, I think this one is wrong. That should be 0, 1, and this is lowercase b. So let's run it and you guys see, then we can speed it up from there. There we go. You see the radio buttons? Now, let me increase that. I'm going to copy and just paste. Copy, paste, and paste, and paste. I'll just fix that and get back to you guys. Alright, this is how the lines of codes looks like now. Okay, there we go. So let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about. Right there, look at that. Right there. So the last thing to do is let's add a button here. So close that. Scroll right down. And underneath here, I'm going to add the buttons. And right there, guys, so I had to speed that up as the button right there so if I run it this is what you guys will see there okay nothing is happening right now so but with that I'm gonna call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly